I spent hundreds and hundreds of hours just out by myself in dark places, watching, waiting for the light, waiting for things to happen. If you're going to stand under the stars for hours and hours and look at the Milky Way rising, unless you're brain dead, there's no way that you're not going to be inspired and awed. It just has a massive effect on you. Lighthouses represent the old cliché of the light and the darkness. But in a way, they seem sort of timeless. They're not, of course. Time is passing them by now in the digital age. But for 200 years, lighthouses were these magical things that saved lives and produced a light in the darkness. Mostly I shoot in colour, but I love black and white. And when I was doing the Ghosts in the Landscape book, I concentrated on black and white and shot very little colour over that time. I just wanted to get into the headspace. When I first started in photography as a keen amateur, I was interested in abstract photography and I did a lot of experimentation. And I always wanted to come back to that. I shot these high-res pattern image and then disassembled them and created a sort of pixel soup that I could manipulate. That was a really good starting point when I started to think about artificial intelligence. I decided to investigate this concept of an AI imagining or dreaming. The concept was to kind of imagine what a robot or AI could dream. That's spark an interest because that's a unique project. I had one particular image that I became just a little obsessed with, and that became the, the seed image to the project Does Ava Dream. I feel I've been a photographer in a really interesting photographic era. 